Gamers, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my tribute to Stan Lee, who recently passed away, but this is going to be a fully positive, uplifting tribute to Stan the Man. Now, how this video is going to work is on this side, I'm going to have uh, some pictures of Stan Lee that will periodically change. And on this side, I'm going to have various characters that Stan Lee either created, co created, or were created because of uh, Stan Lee's uh, contributions. For instance, Bishop of the X-Men wasn't created by Stan Lee, but obviously Bishop wouldn't exist without the X-Men, and the X-Men wouldn't exist without Stan Lee. <laughs> so that's how that's going to work. Now, uh, by this time you've probably seen a lot of tributes, and people have said how certain stories influenced them, or certain characters influenced them. I'm going to tell you that I and my siblings might not exist without Stan Lee. <laughs> See, along with myself collecting comic books and my siblings enjoying uh, comic books and superheroes, my mother collected comic books way back in the day. Now, it's 2018, and there are still uh, girls and women who are ridiculed or examined or, you know, given the third degree if they ever show any type of interest in comic books or video games or some type of... Uh, boys media so if that's still happening in 2018 imagine what it was like for a fourth grader in the late 1950s trying to give a report about some comic books that she read and her uh classmates are snickering uh that ooh, you know what's a girl doing reading comic books okay you know fortunately the teacher allowed her to do her book report but imagine if she had given into the peer pressure or if the teachers wouldn't accept that kind of media as to be reported on. Or if my grandparents told my uh, mother, no, you can't read comic books, you can't get into that, that stuff for boys. That would have greatly changed how she grew up. The media we consume influences the people that we become. So now my parents, my mother and father, they knew each other from church, but certainly if she weren't allowed to consume comic book medium, then she might not have grown up to be a person that would date and then later marry my dad. And if that didn't happen, then I and my siblings would have happened. And the only reason why the comic book industry itself survived was because of Stan Lee. And yes, it wasn't just Stan Lee. You know, there are plenty of co-creators and editors and publishers and business people, uh, you know, contributing and protecting the industry. But let's face it, it's stories like the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man that helped save the industry as a whole. When There was a period when... It looked like a comic book's going to be completely uh, out of it. And Stan Lee's stories and characters are among the reasons why it was the industry was saved. Just like with Walt Disney. Walt Disney uh, was the only person doing animation when he got into the, to the business. But uh, his creations totally revitalized the medium. And yes, there are people helping behind the stage. Like his brother Roy and like his wife and like all the other animators and editors and things like that. But yeah the uh, animation industry wouldn't be what it is today without uh, Walt Disney and certainly entertainment wouldn't be the way it is today without uh, Walt Disney and comic books wouldn't be what they are today or possibly not even exist today without Stan Lee so that's why he's going to get a ton of credit throughout this whole video so when it comes to particular stories I can't mention the particular stories that uh, um, you know, influencing one way or another, but you know, it's more about characters. I mean, I've been reading comic books for so long, I can't pinpoint one particular story here and there. But I can definitely acknowledge how uh, Stan Lee was the first celebrity uh, comic book creator. I mean, from the glasses, this is why I'm wearing these kind of glasses, to Excelsior, to you know, uh, the narration of some of the uh, cartoons and things like that, and of course the cameos. So many, so many, so many cameos. You know, I don't know what my favorite cameo is, but uh, definitely this year with Teen Titans Go to the Movies, that was a great surprise to see him in there. And recently, uh, Ralph Break the Internet coming out, and there's a brief uh, cameo of Stanley, and everyone in the audience went, oh. So, yeah, I, I'm not going to try to bitch at my favorite, favorite character, but I just love seeing Stanley and where he's going to be, how he's going to pop up. And, oh, there he is. So, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and then, you know, comic books have been popular really since the X Men movies uh, 
got you know super popular as far as Marvel properties go. But you know, I was around for uh, the Incredible Hulk TV series. I mean, I love that series. That was that was a uh, wonderful uh, watching. And uh, there, there's other characters throughout Marvel that you know don't get as much praise or, or excitement, like Blade and uh, various other characters. But still, I love superheroes and I love uh, comic books. And I love comic book movies, so I got to get across to Stanley. So I'm just gushing and, <laughs> and smiling and being happy about him. Now you're probably wondering what I think of Spider-Man and the X-Men. And to be honest, I have a love-hate relationship <laughs> with Spider-Man and the X-Men. But because this is positive, I'm going to focus on the positive positivity around Spider-Man and the X-Men. For instance, uh, a cartoon that totally uh, I loved. And my siblings love. And by the way, my one of my brothers absolutely loves Spider Man. He, that, that's his favorite character. So, you know, uh, it's not a, you know, it's, when I say it's love hate, it's not like a too bad and stuff like that. I I, I realize, you know, what a great uh, character Spider Man is. But anyway, Spider Man and his amazing friends. Uh, you know, it, I knew of comic books because, like I said, my mother collected comic books. But Spider Man and his amazing friends was a cartoon that really got me into comic books. And got me into Stan Lee because he would do those narrations over the uh, over the episode, and that cartoon also had like brief cameos of characters like Daredevil and the X Men, and of course uh, the Amazing Friends, Firestar, Iceman. They were uh, X Men's in the uh, that story universe. So uh, there was an episode with the giant the giant side X Men lineup, and that introduced me to Storm. And I probably started entering puberty <laughs> when I saw Storm because when I saw Storm, all I cared about was seeing Storm. And whenever the cartoon we went, I would just wait for seeing Storm. I was so focused on Storm that I saw the cartoon again years later and I didn't realize, oh, Wolverine's in this too. <laughs> and we know how popular Wolverine has become. Okay? You know, I sure remember Nightcrawler being there. I definitely remember Cyclops being in there and, uh, you know, Absolute Storm being there. But like, oh yeah, Wolverine was in this too. Totally went over there because I was focused on Storm. <laughs> and, uh, I'm very happy to have lived in the time to see uh, comic book media balloon into the juggernaut <laughs> of uh, <laughs> the entertainment medium that's become, you know, the Marvel MCU, the Netflix shows, which will hopefully still exist by <laughs> soon. <laughs> but uh, uh, the TV shows, of course, the comic books, and even though collecting comic books has become pretty expensive hobby, I still like to check them out every once in a while. And it's not just Marvel. I like DC. I used to read a bit of Image and... Uh, Valiant and all these other so when it comes to comic books, I don't just mean Marvel, I mean comic books as a medium and comic books as a medium lives and thrives today because of the contributions and hard work of many creators, especially Stan Lee. So uh I don't know where the world goes from here, but uh you know I am very happy to have experienced that and I just hope that in the years to come, comic books uh, and medium and superheroes continues to blossom positively. And I hope that, uh, you know, once everyone puts aside the controversies and, uh, you know, oh, this person created that, that person created that, and this business deal, that business deal, you know, I mean, it, it, look, think of the nice shoes, okay? The, the, the graphic artist that designed the nice shoes, you know, got, got paid 12 bucks. <laughs> To make that design, the Nike Corporation could have said, "Okay, that's fine. That, that that's it." You know, it, but no. It, so they, they treat it right, but still, you know, the corporation said, "No, we paid you the twelve bucks. That's the twelve bucks you get. Go away." <laughs> that wouldn't happen. So, you know, that's why I don't worry too much about the controversy. You know, I wasn't there. You were weren't there. So, you know, if you were handling the situation, you don't know how you would handle it. So that's why I don't worry about the controversy about who made what and who contributed this and who owned that and all that kind of stuff. You know, when it all said and done, this is a man who took a job just to, you know, pay some bills and to, you know, get a glorified, basically glorified internship and wound up revolutionizing, saving, and leading to a giant powerhouse of entertainment. So, yeah, you know, it's not just him, but you know.
it was him. So those are my thoughts and my love for Stan Lee. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Be sure to leave any comments that you have in the comments section. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.